Do you believe that there are opportunities right now? Do you believe that you can overcome this? Do you believe that you can be successful regardless? Do we have the right uh, perspective on success? When I think about this, I think about people like Horatio Spafford. You ever heard a hymn called It Is Well With My Soul? You could probably sing, many of you could sing it right now. Do you know that that hymn was written by a man named Horatio Spafford, who is very successful? He was a very successful businessman, attorney in Chicago. And then the great Chicago fires broke out. He lost everything. He lost everything. If that wasn't bad enough, he sent his family to Europe. He, stayed, he ended up at the last minute needing to stay behind, put them on a ship and sent them ahead. He said, I'll catch up with you later. He stayed behind to take care of some last minute details that had to do with property and those kinds of things. And that ship sank. He got a telegram from his wife that all of his daughters drowned. He boarded his ship to join his wife in Europe. And on the way there, the captain of the ship came to him and said, this is about where the accident happened. And he went out and he looked at the sea and he looked around and this man had so much faith that he immediately went to his cabin and penned those world, those words to that hymn. It is well with my soul. That's faith. Do you believe? I can't say that I believe to that level. I don't have that kind of faith. But you don't know whether you do or not until something like this happens. And I'm sorry to get you, get you um, started on such a drastic note, but it puts things into perspective for us. We don't have any problems. We don't have any problems. What about Anne Frank? What about, uh, what about other people who were sent to uh, Nazi concentration camps? Like Viktor Frankl, who wrote Man's Search for Meaning. You wanna know what the outcome, the, what that psychiatrist Viktor Frankl realized is that the people that got through that horrid experience for the people who had hope for the future. We need hope today. That's why the Ziegler organization, that's why uh, I love the philosophy of Zig Ziegler because Zig Ziegler had a complete philosophy of life and business. We need that message of hope and encouragement more today than ever before. Would you agree?